Today on Low Carb with Jennifer, I'm gonna show you how to make these keto peanut butter and jelly muffins. Hey guys, welcome back to Low Carb with Jennifer. Let's get started with these super easy and delicious peanut butter and jelly muffins. They are full of peanut butter flavor, but they don't have the, all of the calories from adding peanut butter. So let me show you how we do that. I'm gonna start with two and a half cups of almond flour, and I'm gonna add one cup of peanut butter powder. Peanut butter powder, it, there's so many different kinds now, but what it is is peanuts that have been ground and then the fat has been taken out. So it's a powder. What makes peanut butter a liquid is the fat. You take out the fat, it becomes a powder and it's a lot less calories than just a big old glob of peanut butter in your muffins. I'm also gonna add a teaspoon of baking soda and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and a half a cup of granulated sweetener. So I'm gonna stir all of this up. If you are ever curious and you're on YouTube, YouTube has this amazing new feature where I can tag the ingredients that I use in my videos. So I have tagged the almond flour and the sweetener in this video. So if you're ever wondering what kind of sweetener I love or what kind of almond flour I love, there's a little shopping bag icon in the corner of this video that you can click on and it will take you right to those products. Okay, we've got all of our dry ingredients stirred in. So let's finish these up. We've got three beaten eggs, eight ounces of plain Greek yogurt. I like to use fat free, but you can use full fat if you want to. And two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Okay, let's stir all of this up. We've got the peanut butter part of our muffins. Okay, we've got this all combined. So now we're going to scoop it out into our muffin tin. I like to use one of these cupcake scoops or ice cream scoop, makes the perfect portion. This one is three tablespoons, I think, or it might be a quarter of a cup. Okay, now that we've got our muffins all portioned out, I'm going to just make a little divot into the middle to make room for our jelly. And now I've got some sugar-free jelly here that I'm going to just get a teaspoon about a teaspoon per muffin. And I'm just gonna use two spoons to portion it out into the muffin, tops of the muffin. And finally, I'm just gonna use a toothpick to kind of swirl it in to the top. But I still like to leave some, uh, you know, like a nice, nice big portion of it on the top just just so much better. I don't want to swirl it all in. Okay, these are ready for the oven. These are going to bake in a 350 degree oven for about 18 or 20 minutes. Um, I won't say a toothpick will come out clean, but it would if you poke, and then you know there would be no jelly on. There would be jelly on it, so it wouldn't be clean, but there wouldn't be any batter on it. So in the oven, these are ready to go. Okay, we're back. And here are our peanut butter and jelly muffins. They look so amazing. And I know they're good because I've made them before. They are so good. So let me just show you how amazing they look. Mmm, look at that. Look at that peanut butter, peanut butter muffin with delicious jelly on top. Let's try a bite. Mm. They taste just like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Be sure you check out this recipe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.